going on my friends Chris here I want to bring you all an update today and what we're going to be looking at is a strategy I've had a lot of people ask me what type of strategies I like to use and this is one that I've been successful with and that I have some confidence in and the win rate on this guys is anywhere from about 60 to 65 percent this is not something that I came up with myself it's out there everywhere essentially if you look up strategies for trading this is one that i've just really gravitated to guys and when you find a strategy that works well for you and you have some confidence with it many times that's what you want to stick with and be patient with that as opposed to jumping from strategy to strategy so this is one i want to show you that i'm confident with and it's one that i really like myself so if you guys get some from this don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell and let's dig into this so guys, when we're looking at the strategy, first of all, we're going to be looking at Bitcoin. I've talked to you before. I don't short Bitcoin, but it's going to be the same thing from the short side to the long side. I just want to show you some examples here because you're still obviously going to have those failures, guys. About 35, 40% of the time, you're still going to fail. And that's where that risk management has to be important for you. And you have to realize what type of trade you're in. Are you in a move to move trade that's going to be a little bit quicker? Are you going to be swing trading? Are you going to be holding? So the time frame is going to be crucial for you in that aspect. So here we're going to be looking at a four hour time frame. So this would be more of a swing trade for us. And looking at this on the short side, guys. So say someone's looking at this, they're looking at a stock or Bitcoin, they say, I want to go short. What I look for, first of all, price action has to be trading below our 200 moving average. And I like to use the actual moving average. Typically, I use the moving average. Right now, I have the EMA up. So this is going to be our 200 EMA. But for the most part, I like to use the regular 200 moving average. And what I'm looking for is price to be trading underneath this for a setup. So first of all, price is underneath that. And then what I like to do is look for a MACD cross. And this MACD cross to the downside needs to come up above the zero line so it can't be below it has to be up above so when i'm looking for this setup here price is below our 200 moving average so that's good and we got our macd cross here at this yellow line so essentially what you would do you would enter this position you'd take your position here and you'd put your stop up a little bit higher i like to give it more room guys because many times you'll go back back test right in that area maybe wick up above slightly and then it'll continue in your direction but a stop loss up above this area and then i'm trying to let it ride as long as i can and i'm working my stop loss down typically as these lower highs are coming in and then once we get stopped out that's the end of the trade but this would be a decent setup for us we look again over in this range here and guys like we talked about you know 40% of the time this isn't going to work for you so you have to keep those stop losses it's fairly tight and you have to keep them in place you can't just say you know what I'm not going to use a stop loss here I'm just going to let it ride it's crucial that you use a stop loss so here again price trading below this 200 moving average it's slanted down we have our cross to the downside MACD from up above the zero line here and this was a nice little short this one really played out well here, guys. Even if you entered on this candle right here, this long bearish engulfing candle, you know, down in that range, there's over 31%. So say you closed right there, 17, 18%. So that's decent there. Show you a couple more examples here, then we'll go to the long side. So just scooting through. So guys, yet again, price below the 200, right? We got our cross over the zero line here. So just to give you an example, right here, you can see we're up above the zero and we have that downward cross right there. And that's what's so important for us that we have this confirmation together as always have to be so we're not just going to play you know if we have a downside cross here we're not going to play that if we're up above our 200 moving average so they have to go together and that's what it's going to take some time to find these trades and it's going to keep you patient which is another good thing where you're not just getting in and out of the market really fast so here guys this is a little bit of a failed one just to give you an example so here trading below our 200 we had our cross to the downside here we ended up going down but for the most part we were just chopping sideways here and i'm not going to use this strategy when the 200 moving average is just moving sideways doesn't make much sense there and that's when you typically get chopped up so the next one we're going to look for longs here so as we're moving through we want price up above our 200 moving average so if we're looking at this here guys price is up above our 200 at this point so now we're looking at our macd and we're trying to find anywhere from the zero line that we're getting across so right here is going to be an area if we put this on the map right there and we're going to see so this one right here guys this is below the 200 so even right here i would not be able to take this to the long side because i'm not up above that 200 yes i got the macd cross but i'm not up above the 200 so that's something you're going to miss some big moves as well if you're patient and you're waiting for this strategy you just have to realize guys some moves you're going to get some moves you're not because some of these macd crosses can be below the 200 moving average and then it can rip so just be aware of that it is what it is okay so as we're moving on here looking for longs like we we're talking about 
So one over here, this is up above price action up above our 200 moving average. And then what we also have is this cross, this MACD cross, and it's below the zero line. So we're looking for that cross below the zero line heading up right here. This was a nice little trade. We did have an area where we went underneath this 200 just slightly, but that's why I said always leave a little bit of room on that stop loss. It'll help you. And then we had a nice rip up for another 15% or so. So you're not going to catch every move, guys. That's going to be the thing, but this is going to really help you stay patient. So let's take another look here if we see anything. So right in this range, guys, finally below our 200. So we'd have to look in here. Nothing's above the zero line getting across to the downside. So nothing there. But what this is going to do is keep you patient. It's going to put you in good setups, good risk to reward management setups like this one here, guys, really nice risk to reward. If we would have done something like this for a long position, say we went in there just to give you an example. I like, like I said, I like to give it a little bit of room here, guys. So maybe up into that range. You know, even right in that range, that's about a 3.77 to 1 risk to reward ratio there. I like a 2 to 1 or more, so somewhere in that area. But this is something, you know, just go back and back test and work your way through it, both the long and the short side, and see how this helps you if you're struggling and you're really looking for those trades, but you don't want to be in and out of the market. So hopefully you get some from this, guys. Let me know down low if you want to see more of these. God bless you all. Take care.